The patient is out of intensive care and on the road to recovery. One of Britain's sick and ailing banks, Lloyd's Banking Group, shakes off the after effects of the recession and heads back into the black. No figures yet, but bosses confirm a return to profit for the first three months of the year after a marked slowdown in bad debts. Good news for the beleaguered taxpayers who own 41% of Lloyd's after pumping in £20 billion to keep the bank afloat. And quite a turnaround from the £6.3 billion in losses in 2009 after the takeover of Halifax Bank of Scotland and financial crisis left Lloyd's with a colossal £24 billion in bad debts. Chief Executive Eric Daniels says he expects them to sustain the momentum throughout 2010 and report profits at both the half-year and full-year stage. Lloyd say trading was helped by an increase in customer savings deposits, which grew by more than $5 billion in the first quarter. The bank also said it was supporting the economy by lending, but said overall lending balances continued to reduce as the group pulls out of riskier areas. Lloyd's expects to lend £67 billion this year, excluding remortgages to UK businesses and homeowners.